my name's Megan and I need to unhaul some books. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome. If you're new here, my name's Megan. If you're not, you already know that. <laughs> and I have far too many books. I have too many books. I have too many books. I do not want to comment. Why? <laughs> Why? I currently have two bookshelves filled. I need to get another one, but I'm not going to get another one until I move my whole room around. I need to rotate everything in order to fit a new bookshelf in. So that's not going to happen for a while. I don't have it in me. I don't have it in my soul. I'm not ready for that. So we've got to get rid of some books. I saw Gavin from How to Train Your Gavin do this video. I will link his original video down below. I'm going to challenge myself to unhaul I think 30 is a good number. I, I I think in my life I've only ever unhauled maybe eight or 10 books. I find unhauling very hard. Gavin unhauled 100. I'm not gonna unhaul 100. <laughs> not a joke, just a fact. Not a joke, just a fact. Not a joke, just a fact. I don't think I have as many books as him, so I don't think I can unhaul 100, but I'm gonna try and unhaul 30 from both my red books and my unread books. Before we actually get into it, I wanna tell you guys about the sponsor for today's video, which is a super cool app I've been using for the past couple of weeks, and it's called Basmo. So it's an app made specifically for readers, and I think for readers that are like, top tier readers. So I feel like a lot of you will like it. It's basically the perfect place to track your reading all in one place. If you like reading statistics like me, if you watch my wrap ups, you'll know I always do monthly reading statistics. I love them. This place does it for you. You don't need to like have an Excel spreadsheet like I do. It will have all these graphs and like bar charts based on how much you're reading every day, how many books you've read, stuff like that, how you're feeling about what you're reading. You can track your reading like per session. So whenever you sit down to read, you can open the app, track it, you put how much pages you read. And so it's gonna tell you like how many pages you're averaging per hour. So not only can you set goals for like how many books you wanna read a year, you can set goals on how long you want to read per day. You can also read more mindfully by journaling your emotions and thoughts as you read, um, which I really like because the thing with like sites like Goodreads is that it's public facing, whereas with Basmo it's all personal. So I think you can be a lot more honest in a way with your thoughts about what you're reading and like things you wouldn't say to the public. So I think it's a great place to journal those thoughts. And you can also record like your favorite quotes from books and design pictures of them that you could put as like your phone lock screen and stuff like that. So I've really loved using the app. I'll leave the link down below. I'd really recommend you check it out. Okay, let's get into the unhaul. I'm terrified, you guys. I'm so scared. I hate, I fucking hate unhauling. This isn't, this, I am not faking this reaction at all. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Petrified. <laughs> Petrified. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. I'm a powerful, strong woman. Okay. I'm gonna go by like shelf initially and we'll see how we do. So I don't know if you, you can't really see it, but this shelf is my worst shelf. <laughs> I hate her. I tell you now. This is my mystery thriller shelf and it's the one I have the least amount of room on right now, but also there's not many I wanna unhaul. So let's, let's go through it. Okay, this one, the Widows of Malabar Hill by Sujata Massey. I wanted to love this so badly. It was a mystery set in 1920s India, but it was just so boring. Here's the thing. It wasn't even like bad. It wasn't, it didn't anger me with how bad it was. That's why I don't even have an angry reaction left to it. <laughs> I just have nothing. It was just boring. It was dull. It wasn't well paced. I don't think it was well written. Um, oh, I need to shopping list stuck inside of it. Well, I need to get rid of that before I do anything with this book. The first thing is pads. So that'd be great for someone to find. <laughs> Are you not ashamed of yourself? Are you not embarrassed? This is really embarrassing. Yeah, I don't even have negative feelings towards this. I just have no feelings. So I am happy to let this book go. That's one done. <laughs> Whew! Okay, any more on here that I'm happy to get rid of? Oh, this is hard, you guys. This is really hard. Um, I don't know if I want to get rid of If We Were Villains by ML Rio. Listen, I didn't like the book, but it was gifted to me by Riley when I hit 1K subscribers. And so like, it just, I feel like I have a connection to it. I don't think I want to unhaul If We Were Villains yet. If it comes to it and we're struggling to reach 30, this may be one to go. I feel like I have a memory attached to it make a memory. Oh my god, no one will get that reference. I watch a show called Bargain Hunt. 
in the UK it's an old woman show that all the old women watch in the day I love it and one of one of <laughs> no one will get this I'm just gonna cut this out or maybe I won't and one of the experts Charles whenever he's trying to sell something that no one's gonna want he's like make a memory make a memory anyway sorry that's embarrassing I'm gonna unhaul my lovely wife by Samantha Downing this I think I gave it like three stars but I didn't really enjoy this that much. It was pretty more like a 2.75. Uh, this is like a story about this couple who killed together basically, but I didn't think it was exciting. We didn't actually get any of the killing. Like if we're gonna kill, let's fucking kill. Let's go for it. So do you think I deserve better than that? Yes. It ended in a stupid way that I don't really like. And this book was like three pound from Sainsbury's. So I have no qualms unhauling this. I haven't made like any space because this shelf was already overflowing. Um, do I want to unhaul this? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna unhaul The Hunting Party by Lucy Foley. If you look here, you'll see the guest list by Lucy Foley, one of my, probably like my favourite thriller mystery of all time. I love it so much. I need to reread it. But for me, The Hunting Party is like the bad baby version because this was written before. It's like the bad baby version of the guest list. The characters were all annoying, the plot wasn't great, I didn't really enjoy it. And like having it there does bring me some level of joy, because it's yellow. <laughs> it's pathetic. You are pathetic. But I think getting rid of it and giving it, putting it back out, this is the way I've got to think of it. I'm putting these books back out into the world for people to enjoy. That's not me. That's three books down. And it already is hard. You guys, how am I gonna do this? Okay, this shelf, nothing is going because this is like a favorite shelf. The next shelf down, nothing is going because there, there's a lot of favorites there. Oh my God, this is hard. Okay, I'm gonna take a big leap. I'm gonna take a big leap. Are we ready? Now this is hard because again, there is a memory attached to this, but I'm gonna unhaul Scarlet Crest, Winter and Fairest from the Lunar Chronicles series. This is hard for me because when I was like 13, this was one of my favorite series ever. I loved it. You probably know what this is. It's by Marissa Mayer. It's like these sci-fi retellings of fairy tales. And I loved it. I haven't obviously read it for like eight years, but I've always wanted to reread them. However, <laughs> my mum lent Cinder to a family friend and I've never gotten it back. So I can't start the series. I don't have the first book in the series. And so I think I wanna get the new covers. I'll put a picture of them in here. They're much nicer. So if I ever reread these books, I'm gonna buy the new covers anyway so I think we can unhaul that and that's four that's four done in one fell swoop so I'm proud of myself there so we're up to seven books okay what next okay so this one is the first book that I am unhauling that I know for sure has been gifted by a friend I don't know if I said this did I say this I am gonna be unhauling books that I think may be gifted. I forget what books I have have been gifted and which ones haven't. And especially because my family buy books for me, like off my wish list at Christmas and birthdays and stuff, I forget very easy. I may remember a book has been gifted, but I can't remember, is it family? Because I don't care. Or is it like a friend or one of you guys? So I hope no one gets offended if I unhaul a book that you gifted to me, whether you're one of my friends or whether you're a viewer. I wouldn't have a problem with someone, if they've read or DNF'd a book that I've gifted to them, unhauling it. I, I wouldn't unhaul a book that someone's gifted to me and I haven't even read it. But if it's something that I have read and not enjoyed or I've DNF'd, um, I hope no one's gonna get upset with me for unhauling that. I know in Gavin's video, he didn't unhaul gifted books and he started like struggling because everything he wanted to unhaul had been gifted and everyone in the comments was like, it's fine to unhaul those books. And if it was on the other foot, I wouldn't mind. Like I'd want them to unhaul it to make sh more shelf space. So I, I can't remember. I may have already unhauled books <laughs> that someone's gifted to me. I don't think I have, but like I said, I, I find it hard to remember like individual books, like a, a year, year and a half on. Okay. Editing Megan here. I am so annoyed. I am so annoyed at how much I keep scratching my nose. I have really bad hay fever, but I'm like, girl, leave your nose alone. Anyway, sorry, back to the video. So I hope Molly doesn't mind. I love you, I hope you don't mind, but my friend Molly gifted me The Court of Miracles by Kester Grant. I DNF'd this. I never DNF, and I DNF'd this at like 50 pages in. I'm sad because it's beautiful and because Molly gifted it to me, but Molly's gifted to me lots of five star books, and this was just so bad. Like, it was written terribly. Yeah, he's terrible, Your Honor. He's really terrible. I don't understand how anyone could read this 
and think it was good. Like some books that I hate, I'm like, okay, I could see how people enjoy that. But this was just terrible. Like the writing was some of the worst writing I've ever read. So I'm gonna unhaul it. I hope that's okay. <laughs> this shelf down here is double backed. And I feel like a lot of the books down here that are hiding, I can unhaul. So let me try and grab a few and we'll speed through them. Okay, we've hit the jackpot, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Basically on my bottom fantasy shelf, I had all these books hiding behind other books. And I just think, okay, it's time to let some of these go. So let me go through these quickly because I could not remember what most of these books are about. I read them when I was like 12. The Shock of the Fall by Nathan Filer. Can't remember what this is about. Don't think I really liked it even then, getting rid. Dracula by Bram Stoker. I studied this at sixth form. So like when I was like 16 and I didn't like it even then. I probably gave it like two stars then. You've been very, very harsh. Nice to meet you, Kelly. Very harsh. The Catcher in the Rye by JG J. D. Salinger. I have no <laughs> I have no memories of reading this. Macbeth by Shakespeare, another book that I studied. Don't think I really cared. Getting rid of this. Have a Little Faith by Mitch Album. I cannot remember this book at all. I'm not even sure I read this. I don't think I even read this, so getting rid. Now this one I remember enjoying, so I'm a bit like, ooh. But I don't think it's like, it's never a book I'm going to reread and I cannot tell you what it's about. So I have no reason to hold on to it. Life After Life by Kate Atkinson. I remember enjoying this. I remember really enjoying this when I read it when I was like 13. But I could not tell you what it's about. I know it's like a series. I'm not going to continue with this series because I literally cannot remember. So it can go. It's a big boy. So it'll make room for more books. This one I did read more recently. I read it like while I've had my channel maybe or just before I had my channel. A Room of One's Own by Virginia Woolf. I know this is like like a super popular book. I think I read it, I read this for the reading rush, not last year, the year before. So right before I started my channel. And I just didn't like this. I just thought like, it was a bit shit. How do you know what's good for me? That's my opinion! And then The Humans by Matt Haig. I didn't like this when I read it, when I was like 13. I love The Midnight Library by Matt Haig. It's like a five star for me, but this was just shit. Sorry, that's mean. I shouldn't say those kind of things. I should just keep that inside. But I just didn't enjoy this. I thought the writing wasn't for me. Again, like I have no, a very small memories. This was eight years ago, but I remember not liking it. So how many, that's, that's helped us out there. Right, how many books are we up to now? 15, 16, oh my God, we are over halfway. We are over halfway, you guys. I am so proud of her, I could cry. So that's everything from an initial search. I'm happy to get rid of on this shelf. Let me go over to some of the other shelves. Ah, I'm looking at them and there's like nothing I want to unhaul. Okay, <laughs> okay. I've got a few. The top shelf over there is my non-fiction shelf. And to be honest, there wasn't many that I wanted to unhaul from that because I feel like a lot of those books will be useful to have in the future. So the only one I'm unhauling is Truth to Power by Jess Phillips. This was just not really a book. <laughs> I really enjoyed Every Woman by Jess Phillips. Jess Phillips is a UK politician. Oh, it is signed though, but I don't really care. <laughs> I don't want to call it a cash grab, but Every Woman, her other book, did so well and that was more of a memoir and I felt like that really had a, a point of view and like had a purpose and this book I just felt like was just because the other one did so well and they thought she could do another book. Okay. One. <laughs> Next one is going to be controversial, but I'm finally going to let go of Red, White and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. I didn't like Red, White and Royal Blue, I gave it two stars. I really didn't like it. I don't think it's very good. Yeah, it was just, it was just not for me. It's not for me. It's not for me. It's not for me. It's not for me, Mark. Yeah, so it's going, it's going, it's going. We're saying goodbye. Then next I am going to buy, buy? No. I'm going to unhaul Next Year in Havana by Chanel Cleeton. This is like another romance. It's set in Havana um, in the 1950s and then in 2017. And again, I just really didn't like this. I didn't like the romances. I didn't like the writing. I thought it was really poorly written. So time to let go of this one finally. Now this one isn't because I don't like it. I'm going to unhaul this copy of Persuasion by Jane Austen. This was like one I bought at a charity shop for like one pound. And I now have the copies of Mansfield Park, Pride and Prejudice and Emma in, hang on, let me grab one of them. In these editions, which I love, I love these editions so much. So once I've read these three, I will probably just end up buying Persuasion in the edition so that they all match. I don't like this edition, it's ugly as fuck. <laughs> 
<laughs> so yeah, again, it's kind of similar to Lunar Chronicles. If I ever want this book again, I will buy a different edition, basically. One of these I've read and one of them I haven't. The one I read, I did give four stars, but I just don't really feel any need to hold on to it. And they are Americana and Half of the Yellow Sun by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. I've read Americana, I did give it four stars. I haven't read Half of the Yellow Sun, I don't really feel the need to. I know Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie has made some like controversial comments on I think gender and, and like cancel culture. We don't need to get into that whole, like, can is cancel culture even real topic, but whatever. And I haven't, if I'm honest, I haven't read into the opinions, like, fully to see, to give you an opinion on them myself, because I didn't want to anger myself. Like, with stuff like that, I have started to just try and find a balance between educating myself on these topics and not damaging my own mental health to find out these things. So I just don't feel the need to hold on to these. I bought them again for like one pound, two pound at a charity shop. So it's not like I'm losing loads of money by unhauling these. I just don't feel the need to hold on to them anymore. How many have we unhauled? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. No, I can't that long. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 23. <laughs> That is not correct. Oh my god, we've done 23. Okay, I think now I'm gonna unhaul a few from my TBR because I know there's probably seven on my TBR that I'm no longer interested in reading that I bought a long, long time ago. So let me go find them. I don't know if it will actually be quite seven. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Ah! Okay, so include well, half of Yellow Sun was one, but there's only four more that I actually want to unhaul from my TBR. First, we've got Cube by Christina Doucher. I could not even tell you what this book is about. It's by the author of Vox. My mum has read both of them. I haven't read either of them. This is hers. I'm just gonna give this back to her. I didn't buy this. <laughs> gonna put it back in the other room by unhauling it. I'm just taking it off my TBR. Sorry, my nose is so itchy. It's like a feminist dystopian sci-fi thing. I just don't have any interest. Then I'm gonna unhaul Catch 22 by Joseph Heller. I did DNF this. I think I read like 50 pages, <laughs> something like that. And it was just too much for me. This book is holding in a really weird way. I don't even know the plot anymore. I know it's like about a bomber, maybe. Um, I'm never gonna read this. I have no interest in reading it. I don't care. Clap if you care. Clap if, you, clap if you care. I've talked about this a bit, but when I first got into reading, I went to a lot of secondhand bookshops and I bought books like this, that are classics or really popular, that I thought like, oh, I have to read that. I have to read Catch-22. Whereas now I just didn't give a shit. Like I have no interest in you, so bye. <laughs> and then these two are ones that have been on my TBR forever. And I, again, I don't know anything about them. I think they're both ones that my mum has read and she's given me. So I'll either, I'll ask if she wants to keep them. She might not even want to keep them, to be honest. The Wall by John Lancaster and Warlight by Michael Ondaatje. This one's set in 1945 in London. I know that, but I don't really know anything about it other than that. And I cannot tell you what this one's about. So I have just, I'm never going to read them. I have no interest in reading them. Might as well just take them off my TBR. Oh my god, this is so hard. I've got three left. Actually, four, bitch. Three. I need to unhaul three more books. If I could unhaul one from here, it would be helpful because... Because that's where I need space. Oh, I think I have to do it. Okay. I'm gonna unhaul if you were villains. I don't. Part of me doesn't want to do it. But I hated it. So, like, why am I holding on to it? I'm sorry, Riley. I always feel so thankful for you getting this for me. Oh, I don't want to unhaul it. I don't want to unhaul it. <sighs> well, what you want to do is not necessarily what you're gonna do. Okay, we're unhauling if we were villains. I hope I've counted this right. <laughs> <laughs> do I want to unhaul Ask the Passengers? By A.S. King? Not really. Two more books. Two more books. That is really hard to do. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of The Untethered Soul by Michael A. Singer. Uh, this is like a self-help spiritualism book. I like yoga, so I like to read books that are like <laughs> really popular amongst yoga people, but this was just a bit too spiritual. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I think I gave it like two stars and I read it like years ago. I'm never gonna read it again. One more! This is so hard, but I do love seeing the amount of space that has appeared on my shelves. I'm not gonna lie to you. Okay, this has been hard. 
But the last one I'm gonna unhaul is Milkshakes for the Almost Dead by Lulu Wood. I enjoyed this when I read it, but again, I can't remember much about it. And just looking at my other uh, contemporaries on that shelf, because I think I do need a bit more contemporary space as well. This is just one that I don't like feel anything towards and it's quite a big one. So I just feel like it makes sense to unhaul and put back into the world and someone else can read because I think this is like a, like a, this book isn't read as much. So I feel like it's actually better for this book to put it back into circulation and like someone to pick it up and read it. So that's my last one. I think, I hope, let me like stack these up properly and count them. Honey, you've got a big storm coming. No! <laughs> Miscounted! Oh no! Oh no, I have one more! I need to unhaul one more. Okay. Um. <sighs> okay, last one. I'm just gonna go ahead and unhaul A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness because I do have the illustrated copy. Again, this one was gifted to me, so I'm sorry. I hope that's okay. I just have two copies. I may, I think, instead of like giving this to the charity shop in terms of unhauling, I think I'll just give this to my brother. So it's gonna stay in the house, but I'm counting it as unhauling because it's coming off my shelves. Now we've actually done 30 books. That was hard. I'm not gonna extend it to 40 or try and do more. 30 was hard. 30 was hard enough, but I have now got a bit more room on my shelves, which I'm really happy about. If I do end up selling any of these, not ones that I've been gifted, I will put um, my Depop link down below. And that is into this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I feel a bit emotionally scarred from trying to unhaul 30 books, but hey ho. It's done, it's done. Um, and make sure you check out Basmo as well. The link for that will be in the description or you can just search it on the App Store. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I need to go lie down in a dark room and recover. I'll see you soon in another video. <laughs> Bye.